What you're seeing here is a multiplayer demo of the little minor prototype. Um, this is recorded from the perspective of the host, although I have no idea what Fraps will do when I switch to one of the clients to put input in on one of them. Maybe it'll switch on over to that. We'll see. Um, in any case, I'm going to go and click on one of the other four copies of the game I've got connected to this one and see if we can get something to show up here at the host. So right now I'm telling one of the other clients to mine. I just told green to mine and I see the host has got that. I'm just going to click on all of them so they're all doing something. Just designate some random patches to be dug out. And then I'm finally going to use red, which is the host, and put a patch to. And then to make sure that they really are um, doing things in the right order, I'm going to make a path on the other clients that would require them all to basically work together in some sort of order. So I'm going to go over to blue here, or at least I think this is blue. Actually, no, this is green. I'm just going to cut arbitrary little path, and I'm going to continue it as, as each client. And then I'm going to connect it to somewhere we can reach with the last client. And then I'm going to give red something to do at the end of all that. This is using the game loop from the 1500 Archers uh, Gama Sutra article. I'll put it in the video description, but it's, um, it's a multiplayer RTS loop where the idea is you only send the input you don't send anything about the unit positions. So the kind of data that gets transmitted in this, for example, it would just say, you just send something like uh, player red uh, picked a certain area to be mined. And then that's the only command ev every connected player gets, and it's up to them to run the right simulation, which results in that area being dug out. The advantage is you can theoretically uh, have tons and tons of stuff going around on the screen because you don't have to send, you know, information for all the hundreds of units. You only send uh, the player input. But the hard part is you have to be sure you can keep it perfectly synchronized.